All right, all right, y'all. Today we're going to be talking about the first few days in the game and what you're going to be doing. Uh, so, yeah, after you download the game, it's just going to be a lot of clicking as you breeze through some of the first levels. I uh, recommend going and watching my 30 minute speedrun guide so you don't spend days on the first few levels. Um, if you want to play perfectly, though, you can take your time and not use any speed ups and save them for events. Um, but yeah, you get plenty of speed ups for free, so it's not like you're buying anything and wasting it, you're just using the freebies that they give you. Um, after you breeze through some of these levels, you're gonna be, uh, you know, have some other choices to make. One of them is gonna be uh, whether you make an alliance or join an alliance, and then how you want to play from there. Um, I kind of recommend just being passive at the beginning of the game. Uh, you shouldn't really be going out and fighting a bunch of people and losing all your soldiers, you know, kind of play conservatively, uh, try to get a good team, try to figure out how to fight with your team. Uh, you don't really just want to be losing everything because then you can't go gather and get your resources for leveling up, so it's not really worth it. Um, you can scout and just you know, hit kind of the commander accounts and people without an alliance that maybe have their troops out, so then you're just taking resources for free instead of uh, going out and actually killing people, but for the most part I do recommend just kind of being passive. So one of your biggest decisions early on is going to be how to do your commander skills. Um, some people like to just put everything in war, uh, get that battle flag, and your recall all skill. I like to go into the development tree since I don't do a lot of fighting early on. Um, make sure you go for oil and then I really like to just rush that mobility. That way you can focus on getting your commander level up. My favorite thing to do is rush SOS instead of just fighting all the time. Play more passively, grow silently, and then you know wreck people later on. But yeah, I like to get that recover mobility, get your building speeds, uh, get your other recover mobility, and then start putting points into your steel or mineral production. Um, if you want to, you can go back into the war tree and start putting stuff maybe into your long range HP since you're going to be doing a lot of 1-1-1 TAing. If you don't know what that means, we'll discuss it later. Um, but yeah, for now I just like to put everything into development um, and then rush that SOS. So yeah, once you get to level 9, make sure that you're prepared because you do lose your shield that the game gives you. Um, make sure you start joining a good alliance. Maybe join one of the big spender who buys you lots of gifts, like this guy here. Um, but make sure you join a fun, friendly alliance too. You don't want to be bored out of your mind in this game. It is a social game, so make sure you like the people that you're playing with. And then, yeah, kind of your first few days is just going to be building your city up. Make sure you're doing all your upgrades. Um, I recommend uh, going into development tree and researching your research upgrades. That way you... Um, get a research bonus on the rest of your researches, if that makes sense, research your research. Um, and then, you know, just kind of start doing your development tree, make sure you get your recover mobility, you're killing as many monsters as you can for that experience, and then just kind of keep donating to your alliance. Um, that's one of the most important things early on, is getting your flags built up so that you can capture territory before the other alliances get to it. And then if other alliances do capture your territory, you're going to have to work with your team to start destroying some flags and attacking some people. It is a war game, so you're not going to get to be passive forever, but, you know, as I like to say, don't do anything for free in this game. So don't just be attacking random cities and losing troops just to increase your kill counts. Make sure you're doing it to... Um, you know, have a purpose in mind, whether you're killing flags or you're trying to destroy an alliance so they get out of your way and move their hive or something else. But yeah, just play smart. Um, make sure you're doing stuff with a goal. Uh, 
you know, recruit players, try to get people that are in your region. Of course, you guys are probably all American if you're listening to my videos, so try to get Western players into your alliance. Uh, later on, you'll want more people from around the world. It's better to have a well-rounded alliance, but at the beginning, there's just a lot of diplomacy, um, you know, trying to make alliances, uh, I guess unions with other alliances, trying to, you know, stop wars from happening, trying to grow your nation. So don't just go attacking every alliance because <laughs> you're going to get everybody to hate you and come attack you. And also, if you're really destructive in these first few days, you're going to make a lot of people mad. Um, maybe if you want to switch alliances later, they're not going to accept you. Or if you, you know, attack a little bit too hard, then you might make a lot of people quit your nation, which means your nation can't grow properly. So there's a balance to it. You'll have to just um, play the game. Also, I don't really recommend spending a whole lot in maybe your first week just in case you don't find any good friends that you like. Um, maybe you join a server and it's all, you know, Russians or it's all Koreans or Japanese or something and you'd rather have more Americans, then, um, you know, don't, don't be buying every package the first week so that you can go um, to a new world without, you know, losing much. But it's also kind of a, you know, get ahead and stay ahead game so there is benefits in buying in the first week um, especially if you're going to be buying and donating to your alliance to get your alliance hall built and get flags built so um, yeah unfortunately it's kind of like you can pay to start off and then really hate your nation or you know maybe you don't pay and then <laughs> you don't get ahead and then you hate your nation so it's, it's really a coin toss. I've played in several nations now. Um, you know, some of them were good, some of them were better. So, um, yeah, it's, I mean, that's just, it's part of the game. So, yeah, I don't know what else to say. It is kind of, it is what it is. But if you buy in the first two days and figure out that you don't like your nation, um, as long as you haven't reached that level nine spot, and you're within 48 hours of creating your account, I do believe that you can switch nations. Um, so maybe you can create a couple other accounts in other nations, go hop around, see if you like the server before you start spending. Um, but yeah, you're, you're just going to be building up these first couple weeks. You're going to be looking at your nation progress and just doing the goals. Once you get to the end of stage two, you get to start fighting for cities and that's where the fun begins. All right, everybody, I think that's it for today. Be safe out there, and remember this is a game, so have fun. And as always, the shameless plug at the end of the video, if you guys wouldn't mind liking the video, sharing it, subscribing, leaving a comment, whatever you can do to help me out. Hope you liked it, and I hope you learned something.